back to the channel. Today I'm going to be reading SCP-096, also known as The Shy Guy. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And, you know, comment down below of any SCPs or creepy puzzles you would like me to read. If I read them, you will get a shout out in my next uh, video. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. SCP-096 is to be contained in itself, a 5 meter times 5 meter times 5 meter airtight steel cube at all times. Weekly checks for any cracks or holes are mandatory. There are to be absolutely no video surveillance or optical tools of any kind inside SCP's 096 cell. Security personnel will use pre-installed pressure sensors and laser detectors to ensure SCP-096 presence inside the cell. Any and all photos, videos, or recordings of SCP-096 likeliness are strictly forbidden without approval from Dr. and O5 SCP-096 is a humanoid creature measuring approximately 2.38 meters in height. Subject shows very little muscle mass, with preliminary analysis of body mass suggesting mild malnutrition. Arms are grossly out of proportion with the rest of the subject's body, with an approximate length of 1.5 meters each. Skin is mostly devoid of pigmentation with no sign of any body hair. SCP-096 jaw can open to four times the norm of an average human. Other facial features remain similar to an average human. With the, exaggeration, with the exception of the eyes, which are also devoid of pigmentation. It is not yet known whether SCP-096 is blind or not. It shows no signs of any higher brain function, and it is not considered to be sapient. SCP-096 is normally extremely docile, with pressure sensors inside its cell indicating it spends most of its day pacing by the eastern wall. However, when someone views SCP-096 face, whether it be directly, via video recording, or even a photograph, it will enter a stage of considerable emotional distress. SCP-096 will cover its face with its two hands and begin screaming, crying, and blabbering incoherently. Approximately one to two minutes after the first viewing, SCP-096 will begin running to the person who viewed its face. The person who viewed his face from now on will be considered SCP-0961. Document, documented speeds vary from 35 km per hour to... and seems to depend on the distance from SCP-0961. At this point, no known material or method can impede SCP-096 progress. The actual position of SCP-0961 does not seem to affect SCP-096 response. It seems to have an innate sense of SCP-096-1's location. The reaction does not occur when viewed when viewing artistic depictions of SCP-096, however. Upon arriving at SCP-096-1's location, SCP-096 will proceed to kill an SCP-0961. 100% of cases have left no trace of SCP-0961. SCP-096 will then sit down for several minutes before returning, returning its composition, regaining its composition, and be becoming docile once again. It would then attempt to make its way back to its natural habitat. It... Due to the possibility of mass chain reaction, including breaching the facility secrecy and large 
civilian loss of life, retrieval of subject should be considered alpha priority. Doctor has also petitioned for immediate termination of SCP-096. Termination order has been approved and is now being carried out by Dr. On. The following is an interview between Dr. and Captain, former commander of retrieval team Zulu 98. It always sucks ass to get intel retrieval duty. You have no idea what the damn thing is capable of besides what jacked up information the field techniques can scrap up. And you're lucky if they even tell you the whole story. They told us to bag and tag. Didn't tell us jack shit about not looking at the damn thing. Could you describe the mission, please? Yeah, uh, sorry. We had two choppers, one with my team and one on backup with Zulu 9B and Doctor. We spotted the target about two clicks north of our patrol path. I'm, I'm guessing it, he wasn't facing our direction or else he would have taken us out then and there. Your reports says SCP-096 didn't react to the cold. It was degrees Celsius. Actually, it was minus. And yes, it was butt naked and didn't so much as shiver. Anyways, we landed, approached the target, and Corporal got ready to bag it. That's when Dr. Call it. I turned to answer it, and that's what saved me. The target must have turned, and my whole squad saw it. That's when SCP-096 entered an agitated emotional state? Yep. Sorry, uh, got the willies for a second. That's alright. Yeah, well, uh, I never saw its face. My squad did, and they paid the price for it up the ass. Could you describe it a little more, please? Yeah. Yeah, it started screaming at us, and crying. That animal roaring, though, sounded like a person. Really fucking creepy. We started firing when it picked up Corporal and ripped off his leg. God, he was screaming for help. Anyway, uh, we blew chunks out of the target round after round. Didn't do jack shit. I almost lost it when he started him. That's when you ordered the use of an ATA-4 HEDT launcher, correct? Yeah, an anti-tank gun. Started carrying it ever since SCP got loose. I've seen those tear to tanks like tissue paper. Did the same thing to this target. There was significant damage to SCP-096. It didn't even fucking flinch. It kept tearing apart my squad. But with half of his torso gone. But it was taking damage? If it was, it wasn't showing it. It must have lost all of its organs and its blood, but it didn't acknowledge any of it. Its bone structure wasn't hurt at all though. It kept trying, tearing apart my squad. So no actual structural damage, correct? How many rounds did you say were, were fired at SCP-096? At least, uh, at least a thousand. Our, our door gunner kept his GAU-19 on it for at least 20 seconds. 20 fucking seconds. That's 600.50 caliber rounds pumping into that thing. Might as, might as well be spitting at it. This is when Zulu-9B arrived, correct? Yeah, and my squad was gone. Zulu-9B managed to get the bag over its head and... And it just sat down. We got it into the chopper and got it out. Got it here. I don't know uh, how I never saw its face. Maybe God or Buddha or whatever the hell thought I should should be alive. 
We have obtained an artist's de depiction of SCP-096 face. Would you like to view it? You know, after hearing that thing scream and the scream of my men, I don't think I want to put a face on whatever I heard. So no, just no. All right, I believe we are done here. Thank you, Captain. Let this be on record that I am formally requesting SCP-096 be terminated as soon as possible. <laughs>